It's Thursday morning and we're back at work on the trenching and uh, Ron Steenberg is here to fill in the trench. So this piece is already done and he's working around the corner. So this piece is already done. He's starting to work around the corner. Caution tape into the trench so that if anybody starts digging in this area again, uh, they'll know that there's a buried hydro cable that's live and that they need to be cautious with it. Uh, just to bring you up to date in terms of where we're at with the tiny home, um, so the power is live. We've taken it all the way to the post and uh, the tiny house is plugged in. Here you can see it there. And we've got wastewater. So it's just uh, plain water at this point in time coming out. Uh, this is the uh, electrical tape or electrical uh, extension so that uh, we have power to the to the pieces that are being used in the front So Ron's now working on filling in the uh, the water trench and uh, coming from the box at the top, we've got three quarters of the way down and uh, looking pretty good. Basically it's very level and uh, We'll be able to work with space that's here. We just have the far end of the trench to actually finish off with all the water is sitting. My role is to submerge the uh, the pipe so that we can keep it at the bottom of the trench. Okay, so we've got this trench filled in. Uh, it's been a busy morning and we're just doing some work at the front here, but uh, this is what it looks like at this point. So the box of the house coming down to the tiny house. Show you what we're doing at the front. So the objective here, I'll start over on this side, is that we've been noticing over the past year that water has a tendency to come off of the roof. So some of it will be diverted into our our big IBC tote there, but it has a tendency to come off the roof and turn around the corner here. So it ends up going down sort of a, a low area here until it gets to the uh, driveway and once it gets to the driveway it spreads across the driveway and goes down the driveway itself so what we're thinking is to put a spillway uh, on the other side where Ron's digging at this point in time and we'll put a piece of big O underneath the driveway here 
and uh, dig this out just a little bit so that we end up with a uh, a bit of a, a French drain on this side. The big O brings it across the driveway underneath uh, to the other side. We're not going to go very deep um, because all we want is the surface water to run away without going across the driveway itself. Hey, it's Trisha from East Mar Shakers. Um, we've been having kind of a work day today. On a Thursday? Um, yeah, very early this morning. So earlier, I don't know if Roland mentioned, but uh, we lost two chickens in the last couple days due to hawk attacks, even though we have our overhead deterrent or whatever. So we, this morning we decided to put this two days in a row. So sure enough, the hawk was back, but we already put the chickens in the hoop house. So we got that all ready, so they're all safely in the hoop house. Now we only have eight chickens left, so for the winter. we'll keep them for the winter. We'll probably get some ex new chicks in the springtime. Um, so that was one thing we did early in the morning. And we've had the, our excavator come out. Um, so what he did uh, is he uh, filled in the electrical trench and the water trench going to the tiny home. And then we also had him because we found um, living here. That's what, you know you find out where water runs and everything like that. <clears throat> so we found the water goes down and it came across and it was flooding our driveway here. So now what we've done is we got the Ron to uh, trench it there and we put a big old pipe in. So it's kind of a French drain here. And then we'll, we'll, it will naturally go in there. We'll, we'll kind of formalize it a little bit, make it look like a river in the springtime, some landscaping that way. But right now we've got that set up um, to go. So we just got to put some rocks, make it kind of a little, little well there. And uh, so we're, we're going to do that yet. And uh, so we can show you what the, uh, the tiny house too. He got all the dirt there straightened out. Take a look. Yeah, let's go take a look. <clears throat> Why don't you show? I'll, I'll make sure I see the tiny house. Oh, you haven't seen anything seen this yet, have you? No. Uh, it'll, it'll be a couple minutes yet. The, uh, the only thing that we have is that where the water was all pooling, it's down uh, here. Yeah. So it's oh, that's a that's a frog. Yeah, there's been quite a number of them this morning. Yeah. But it's kind of bouncy here. Yeah. It's gotten better. Mm -hmm. But we also made sure that the water was draining away here. So it yeah. uh, doesn't pool in front of that section. Right. We also took the uh, the dirt away from the tongue. Right, and put it back into a hole. <laughs> yep. So, uh, just one more issue with the combi boiler inside the uh, tiny house. But other than that, it's oh, and we have to put the skirting on. Uh, so we'll do that uh, maybe yes. later this afternoon no, or next week. Good and uh, it'll be good to go. Um, so, good progress. What do you think of that one? Well, that's working. That's the um, mini pump, split, right? yep, heat pump, yep. So that's where gray water's gonna go? Well, you can see it's running. Yeah. So I was thinking that maybe if you had a... If the grey water goes in that hole could have been... You could have made a little, uh, um, like a reed bed. 
that there. Yeah. Well, we can still work at that for the future. I'm just going to walk around the front. And the pole is filled in again. Yeah. So your overall impressions? Good, we're getting, we're, it's coming along. So yeah, I think I'll uh, lay some clover down here. Yep. Um, Looking good. All right, I think that's it for today. Uh, so we'll talk to you soon.